ex lies during divorce to have me jailed, and instead, he is left with remorse. I was getting divorced in the early 90s. My ex was pissed that I was divorcing him. I owned the house prior to the marriage, so he moved out, but he broke back in and tore up all kinds of things. Tore up my jewelry, my clothes, he cut holes in all of them, etc. I couldn't prove it, but of course it was him. When we went to divorce court, he gave the judge a two-page list of things that he supposedly brought to the house with him prior to marriage that I refused to return. My attorney showed me the list, and it was stuff that he never owned in the first place. He totally wanted me thrown in jail for contempt of court. My alternative ways to pay like $2,000 and I wasn't about to do that. I am opted for jail, but my friends kept telling me just to pay it. I refused. Two days before I was to appear in court, a girlfriend of mine asked if she could see the list. Sure. She noted that things he said were there didn't give much if any of a description. For example, he says there's a gun, he didn't say what kind of gun. He said there was a computer and he didn't say what kind of computer and so on. Her point was that if I went around and bought everything on the list, it would probably cost me about 200 bucks and that was worth staying out of jail. I agreed, knowing it would also be worth him being livid that his plan didn't work. So I made a game of it. I went around to pawn shops and resale stores, and I told whoever was in charge there that I was on a scavenger hunt, and I briefly explained what was going on. They all loved the idea and helped me get through my list rather quickly. Here are some lovely examples of what was boxed up for him. Gun. An old rusty cap gun. Screwdriver set. Same, old and rusty. Clothing. Goodwill horrid stuff. Bust, statue, made one myself from clay. Knives, old and rusty. Camping gear, an old pan, matches, and a tiny tarp. And one of my favorites that I remember was, he said he had a Monopoly game. So I sent him a Goodwill find without any of the pieces. Just the board. I wish I could remember everything that we got. It was so much fun, and when we got home, we had to videotape boxing them all up and going through the items one by one. My attorney told the judge that I had found them at the attic, and I just hadn't seen it before. So sorry. The judge told my attorney to simply drop the box off at his attorney's office, and that the divorce was final. My only regret is not being able to see his face when he opened up that box of garbage. And there was nothing he could say because he made the stuff up in the first place. It's been 30 years and I still get joy thinking about it.